Now, um, I'm just gonna throw the other couple of things up here so I can put a filter pane um, and all that's going to allow me to do is if I just wanna select an individual house and maybe I'll just put this up here and give it a title, um, assessment ID. Okay, and if I'm then out here, I can just click on assessment ID. I just want to look at this one. Now, I've just used here, because this is fake data, I've just used kind of the UUID, but maybe you have a family name, you could put the family name, or maybe you have a district name, you could put a district name here and just select kind of individual um, assessments. And every time you select that, it will just filter the data and you can then see which um, health issue that fa family has, which water source, which toilet type. And you can see even if you only select, uh, say, one. Um, <clears throat> so you're only selecting one family, but you can see they answered two different water sources. So they kind of use uh, those two different water sources. Okay, another very quick uh, um, option you can do is, is put a KPI. So what's the total number of Um, assessments that we've done. I'm just going to count the um, ID numbers, okay? And you can change the label there, so number of assessments. Um, and then potentially you want to put a, um, a bar chart of which dates uh, people were were assessed. Now I'm going to show you um, if you choose start, so that's when each um, assessment was started. And if you do start count, okay. Now, <clears throat> it's is gonna look like a mess and it is, is a mess. So in ODK and um, Kobo, it doesn't just take the date, it takes the date and the time and the time zones. So you have these crazy detailed timestamps, okay. Um, so when you try to put it in click, it looks like this. Um, and you'll get this same option kind of if you analyze it in any, probably in Excel or in any type of uh, software that you're using. So I'm going to show you just a really, really easy way in Click that you can actually change this. So what you want to do next is um, come back into your script uh, load editor um, where you have your pretty simple load script here where you're loading start and toilet. Uh, hygiene, health, water source, UUID. And what you want to do is where start is, you want to let uh, click know that that's actually a date. So you can just put the word date in front of start and open bracket um, and close bracket around it. So it, it's just telling um, click that when it loads it, it wants you to load or you want uh, click to load start as a date and then save it as column start okay so we're just giving it the same name um, but you're just letting uh, click know that the data in that column in Excel is actually um, a timestamp basically so again we'll do that the same with end so date and then put brackets around end and then as end um, and then once you're done that again you can load your data and we should be good to go to um, continue making our bar chart. So if you go into um, uh, start and click on this little function. So instead of the timestamp, what we want to sh show is the start of the day. So put day start of the start column and click apply. And all that's done is it changed all of the dates into 12 a.m. So it took all of those, um, all of that data and turned it into a single time. Now, I don't like it coming up as a timestamp because you can kind of see that when you go here, these just look like really ugly timestamps and dates and everything. So you can also very, very simply just change that um, to a date. Okay, so we're going to turn this whole thing into a date with the expression month, month, uh, sorry, day, day, dash, month, 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 dash, year, year, and say apply. 
And all of a sudden, we just have a very nicely um, arranged date. Uh, now, the way I want that sorted, I don't want it sorted like that. Actually, I just want it sorted um, chronologically. So I, you can literally just drag and drop. I want it to be chronologically in order of date. So you can kind of see the sorting is auto, but you can sort alphabetically or sort numerically. Um, okay, but if I sort alphabetically, I'll just leave it on auto. Um, so it's just sorted by date. So we've got the 9th of May, 13th, 14th, 15th. Likewise, in here, I could also um, sort by count. So these look a little bit um, neater or cleaner. Uh, just arrange them so that the biggest is on the left. So you can sort them very easily. Okay, so we have date of assessment. Here, all right. So our dashboard is looking actually quite good so far. Yeah.